on the previous episode. It's 18.4 mil. We're starting to build. We still have a couple things left to sell. A couple of TY Hiltons left to sell. Hopefully, I'll be at 20 mil going into Team of the Week tomorrow. That's kind of what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Episode 91 of the No Money Spent Team of the Week. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Fridays. Probably the most important days in terms of coin making, investing. It's a busy, busy day. On your screen, you see all the Team of the Week cards. Lamar Jackson getting another plus one. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a MasterCard yet. But looking at the Team of the Week heroes, Willis McGahee, Broncos, Ravens, Bills, probably one more. Overall, I like Willis McGahee as a player more than his card. Love his player model. He usually has a dark visor on the field, kind of that throwback look to the mid-2000s. But he's pretty much just a another running back 91 speed he doesn't have anything stat wise that's over the top ronde barber famous memory of ronde barber really is his 2016 core legend card 92 speed the only thing i really don't like about this card and i'll talk about this 510 184 with the meta wide receivers being dk metcalf randy moss brandon marshall really tall receivers it's hard to find me basically wanting to pick up ronde barber and put him as an outside corner being so damn short and say his best position is probably in that slot role but ronde barber it probably is probably in our best team of the week in terms of our sets for the last couple of weeks and then josh allen we talked about josh allen yesterday so i'm not gonna go too into it but 90 speed, 6'5", definitely deserving of a card, although he got an interception, but his zone coverage is still really, really low. So Jalen Phillips, if you want a just a free option for this Josh Allen, Jalen Phillips and Gridiron Forge, that's why I'm not the biggest fan of the Josh Allen release, although he deserved the card. And then Big Ben Roethlisberger leading the Steelers to a W last night, gets a Team of the Week limited. Team of the Week limited, man, they're probably the most random content player choice from EA Sports, pretty much in any content this entire year so we're not going to talk about much about big ben and his price we'll talk about that tomorrow because tomorrow is the day we're investing in him we're not buying him today i don't even look at the team of the week limiteds today because i don't want to get excited about a price if it's low if it's high whatever talking about the 89 though the end cats you get from the team of the week solos really probably the worst 89s we've gotten out of any solo challenge this entire year james connor you never want to choose a nat running back quarterback wide receiver corner because you're always trying to upgrade that position and put liquid coins into it you don't want nats kind of filling up your team in the in those basically positions so i'm going to choose xavier mckinney i believe that's his name it is xavier mckinney i believe he was a safety out of alabama but fortunately for his card really low zone coverage like 83 so you're not going to really get 90 zone coverage he does have good speed good height six foot but overall not the best card but hopping into our binder you see the coins in the top right 21.1 million coins Teron Armstead still one left to sell of him T.Y. Hilton and then a couple of heavyweights I should be at that 22 like 22.5 range maybe 23,000 if the training the 4,000 training I convert that into coins but who knows I'll probably not get up to a fully like a peak of my coin bounce maybe before Thanksgiving because we'll be selling off that Teron Armstead probably in the next couple of days but the main thing our team of the week Tuesdays or Tuesday videos are about what is the target price for the 89 team of the weeks and we're going to basically learn from our past couple of weeks the team of the weeks have gotten the margins for profit have been slimmer and slimmer also if you want to snipe these cards it, I think it was O last week was the letter we were using NN this week because you have Connor and McKinney with two N's in their last name so we'll filter out the old team of the week cards but this week I'm targeting them at 45k and under I know I just bought one for 40 like 45 point I just wanted to show me buying one but the target price under 45,000 coins it is the cheapest training by a slight slight margin 80 or was it 91s for like 105k you can pick up like heavyweights and veterans we'll talk about that though training investments right after this but team of the week 89s i'm not going to over invest basically because we want to be fully liquid going into thanksgiving so that means we have to sell these cards off by tomorrow night so we're buying tonight selling off tomorrow night so we don't want to pick up more than probably at max like 30 cards just because we have basically are forced to sell off by tomorrow night because thursday most likely we'll get that reveal for the thanksgiving part one or the series two whatever is going to come out this weekend the reveal will be thursday and that will kind of start to flood the market crash and you want to have coins for when the crash happens because of course we'll be investing in blitz maybe thanksgiving part two core release but yeah that is the 89 team of the week target price 45k hopefully these cards are selling for that 54 to 55k range tomorrow with a quick one day flip investment but hopping into the training investments we're going to take a look at the rising stars they have basically teased the starting three odethi owe don't 
don't judge i don't i don't know the pronunciation if i got it wrong let me know but a really solid outside linebacker kind of that lawrence taylor ted hendricks budget option 92 overall and then joe burrow unfortunately a field general that is not going to get hot route master so he's pretty much really he's just a worse version a slower version of daniel jones unfortunately but Kadarius tony is a very interesting card i wish they gave him 93 94 speed he's had a great year when he's been healthy and the slot archetype is very important because slot and route runner are basically the same thing he gets slot apprentice and the route technician ability for really cheap ap which is, is just important because you always want to have at least one route runner or slot archetype in your receiving course so you can get that route technician that slot apprentice ap that ability for cheap so he is a very interesting card unfortunately with joe burrow a Bengal getting a card and kader tony a wide receiver getting a card it pretty much eliminates Jamar Chase from getting a Rising Stars in this release. And if we're being honest, we're, we're talking about EA Sports here. They're not going to release Jamar Chase, the fastest card in the game, the best receiver in the game when he gets an upgrade, into a training reroll. You got to think about the EA Sports, the money. He's going to be just in packs. They're not throwing him in a Wild Card Wednesday reroll. I expect him to probably be a limited time blitz card, maybe a ghost of Madden future. He's going to be put into packs and not into a training reroll. That's what I'm basically trying to say about Jamar Chase, even though he definitely deserves a card. He's been probably the most exciting rookie this year. But in terms of training investment now, it's basically all deciding and determining if the Rising Stars were going to be really good. And unfortunately, we haven't, these aren't bad Rising Stars, right? The Ravens player is really good. Joe Burrow, quarterbacks always seem to go for more expensive than training just because they're a quarterback. And then Kadarius Tony is a solid card, but it's not that peak. That's not, it's not that Jamar Chase. We're not going to see that insane spike in training, but we always see that Tuesday to Wednesday training kind of just rise because people need training to pull the new Wildcard Wednesdays as well. We're getting that fantasy end cap pack from the last four weeks of Wildcard Wednesday. So people are going to need training to power up their free cards. So training is going to go up a little bit. The other thing that's kind of unfortunate, the cheapest training right now is the 89 team of the week. So you're pretty much just going to be doubling down on those investments. And I don't like putting all my eggs in one basket. So maybe that gives you an option to buy a couple more 89 team of the weeks than you normally would because it's technically a training investment. And hopefully training goes up and it will go up slightly tomorrow during rising stars another low-key investment you see on the screen zach wilson and divine diablo since we're getting basically five new rising stars they're going to take the five old rising stars i think patrick Sertain is going to stay in because it'll be a 90 plus pack but zach wilson and divine diablo are still major parts in the meta of madden 22 zach wilson is the cheapest gunslinger quarterback the next one being josh allen and then divine diablo is in every raiders team team so if you pick up both of these cards for under 50,000 coins, that's basically almost at training. So it's a training investment, kind of, but it's more just as a player investment because they're taking, they're been, they're going to be taken out of that training reroll and only just be pulled in basically packs. And it's, there's not going to be as many flow of them. They're not going to be put on the market as much. And they're still heavily involved in the meta. They're bought probably once every two minutes just of how popular and how much they're needed in teams. So I think Zach Wilson, Divine Diablo have a solid chance. Of probably being 49 well you can buy them for like under 50,000 coins right now and probably by tomorrow night and over this weekend they'll probably be in that 60,000 to 65,000 range so I've bought one Zach Wilson I'm gonna try to buy one Diablo for under 50,000 coins just because they're always needed in teams I expect them to go up from that like 48 40 47 to 50k range to that 60 to 65 range to wrap things up with investing our Thanksgiving part one investments there's not much to go off of we've talked about our Thanksgiving investments it's a needle in the haystack, but there are a couple cards. Cleo Mack, if you can pick up for 30,000 coins. Dak Prescott, my target price is 8,000 coins. Him and Dak Prescott, or Cleo Mack and Dak Prescott, have already kind of have inflated prices. If you have Dak Prescott and Cleo Mack, like I have a couple of Cleo Macks, whenever Cleo Mack goes up to 40,000 coins, I usually sell off one or two because the coins being made, and we're going to learn off our Aaron Donald and DK Metcalf failed investments, we want to sell at the inflated price. We buy the lowest, we sell at the hype or the inflated price, the same thing. So for Demario Davis and Cameron Jordan, they really have an inflated price, so they're probably good pickups. One of them is going to get that Saints player that's going to be upgradable for their Thanksgiving stats. Cameron Jordan under 15k and Demario Davis under 10,000 coins are really safe investments. They pretty much can't go any lower than what they are right now. Of course, over the weekend when Thanksgiving packs are spammed, they'll probably like eventually, like initially, they'll drop a little bit under what we're paying them for. But over the weekend, you should be able to sell them back if they do not get a card for the price you bought them. 
to wrap things up the limited time investments have finally started to go up and i think the hit stick in the discord in the comments said it best himself with weekend league rewards dropping on tuesday a lot of the high end like if you're a weekend league player and you get weekend league rewards you typically are buying the most expensive card the top of the line meta cards so the limited edition some high end overall players tend to probably rise on tuesday after weekly rewards come out so we saw tron armstead and harrison smith take a slight rise in price harrison smith i would sell anything under fi over 500,000. tron armstead i'm targeting that 600k range to sell them off sold off already both my harrison smith last night for 380 and i still have one tron armstead left to sell but that's really gonna be all in this episode maybe some of you have been asking like where's the gameplay well unfortunately i've just kind of all in out of love with Madden gameplay. I'm a little burnt out. You say I've been playing Call of Duty, been playing some other games. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, I'll find that passion for playing Madden. Because right now, pretty much, I mean, you see the coins. I'm not playing Madden to get coins, right? It's pretty much just for the love of the game. If I'm having fun, just playing the game in a competitive aspect like Weekend League. And just, I'm not that motivated to really hop on and grind out some games in the Weekend League. But hopefully, that changes in the next couple of weeks. But Rising Stars tomorrow, gonna get two more reveals. Maybe a Micah Parsons, and AJ Terrell, Najee Harris. Who knows what we're gonna get. Thanksgiving Part 1 one announcement will probably be tomorrow morning on good morning madden or tomorrow afternoon whatever content we're gonna be getting this weekend but that's all for episode 91 of the no money spend comment if you have any questions like if you enjoy the video subscribe if you're new link to the discord is in the description and until tomorrow peace